Now, if you don't have a lot of outside space, We've got this lovely shelving unit here, and this is great because I, what I really love about this is I love herbs, growing your own herbs, yeah. and I think this could look really, we've got flowers on it at the moment, but I think this is really beautiful with some lovely herbs or some are really trendy yeah, at the wood. moment. This is from B&Q, it's £220, so it's quite an investment, but it's like a little vertical garden, so if you're not into like making your own vertical wall, which yeah. is yeah. also, you know, the, have you seen these kind yeah. of green walls that everyone's doing at the moment? Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a nice, easy option. So, Kelly, what floats your boat herb-wise? Um, I like things that I use in the kitchen, so I like basil, rosemary, thyme, things Parsley, like that. Parsley, yeah. yeah. Things outside your back. I mean, this would look lovely outside your back door. Yeah. And it's easy to nip out and just kind of cut bits and chuck it in with the cooking. So, this is yeah, pretty. anything like that. Mint's quite um, invasive, so if you have mint, make sure you put it in a pot because it can mm. go everywhere if you plant mm. it in the garden. Um, and also, looking after the pollinators in your garden. So we've got these lovely little... Look at this little bird. Yeah, that's house. cute. That's really, and I think we've got a little ladybird one here. Look at this. Super cute. I was keeping oh, bees last nice. year. And what uh, happened to your bees? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was learning how to be a beekeeper, and um, unfortunately, a few of them got caught in my hair. So I had a bit of a situation oh. with them. So I'm going to leave that to Were the professionals. Bit... OK, I'll cut you off. Them out. Oh dear. Did you not have your pants on? I had the on? suit on, but somehow they found, they found their way in. They I don't did. know how that happened, but they, yeah, they managed to get inside. Oh, what a shame, because <laughs> beekeeping's a lovely It was hobby, so it? lovely. Yeah, that doesn't always happen. It was so lovely, and it was so like rewarding to yeah. have your own honey at the end of it. Mm. And you just think that you grow all these plants, and then they pollinate everything. But these are lovely. My mum's got one that it, it attracts insects yeah. as well, and you can get yeah, them Yeah, these the, are from M&S. That's ladybirds. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I've seen the ladybird one. That's so cute. No, the little ladybird one. Um, what else have we got? We've got lots of things i mean these little planters things this is also great to bring like a bit of color into your garden um the only thing with these is they haven't got holes in the bottom you really need drainage yeah. so you buy all these little trendy pots but yeah. you really if you are going to plant them up make sure you put some drainage holes in the bottom but then nice if you just want to decorate the table for the day yeah. or something you can sit the plants yeah. in there like, I like plastic your, plants your, um, like artificial plants you'd well you could do well, you but... could do that i didn't really want to say that because i'm a gardener <coughs> but uh, you can get some really good artificial plants now so yeah if you don't really want to plant your own you could also pop 